Hi, I'm Paul Trapsky, and I'm a senior at Binghamton University studying computer and engineering. I'm the leader of the Watson Capstone Project number 24, spectrum sensing on a software-defined radio. The idea behind dynamic spectrum access is spectrum sensing. And what spectrum sensing does is allows the user to analyze the spectrum as it's changing to determine which bands are free and which bands are busy. Using Xilinx's integrated software environment, we are developing custom images to be burnt onto software-defined radios. These images will create specific hardware to do this analysis. Now the analysis is to take a signal, in our case, from either an over-the-air signal or a direct connection to a signal generator. So we can look at the spectrum as, as it's changing. We can see the TV bands that are being used. We can also look at any specific bandwidth that we set. Hi, this is Edward O'Brien. I'm a senior electrical engineer at Binghamton University. It's been a really good project so far, although we've had many complications, especially with the government shutdown, which caused us to have no contact with anyone at NIST, so we could not talk to our external advisor. After the government was back up and running, we were able to get in contact with him and then show him everything that we were able to work on while he, he could not go to work at all. I think one of the best experiences that I obtained from my senior project was working with someone completely new. The way the senior projects are decided upon are based off of each student's qualifications and what projects they've worked on before, such as the internship experience. And then using, using this information, the professors put the best students together which would work well on each project. So instead of students picking which partners they have, we were picked based off our qualifications. And one of the great things about this is that this resembles how it's done in the workforce. Thank you for your time, and we hope we've given you an idea of what dynamic spectrum access and spectrum sensing is all about.